Hey guys, welcome to another video from Little Devil from Jaku Community. Um, I'll be teaching you how to uh, set up an emulator with the marketplace and um, root it, which this actually doesn't come come devo default from it. Um, just because I'm using the Mac operating system, I will still be uh, telling you how to use it if, if you use a uh, Windows. So let's get this video started. Hey guys, so the first thing you will need to do is to get the Android SDK files from the Android developer's site. Um, I'll be posting this link in the info bar, but um, the first, so you, you want to download uh, whatever platform you're on, Windows, Mac, or Linux. So since um, I'm on the Mac operating system, I'll download the Mac version. So after you finish downloading yours, um, you want to want to unzip it, and you should get add-ons, docs, um, platform, I think, and tools. Um, after you unzip that, um, if you're on the, you want to open a command prompt or your uh, terminal if you're on Mac, and then navigate to your folder where your Android S SDK file is. And then your tools folder. Um, if you're on your if you're on the Windows, then you would want to in your Android SDK file, you would want to open the SDK setup. And if you're on the Mac on system, you have to type dot slash Android. This will open your SDK SDK file, uh, your manager. Sorry, and there should be an another window pops up. Which will tell you to, which is this uh, loading source. Basically, it'll tell you the stuff that you can download from, from from their site. Um, you you will probably just want to get the um, API seven seven or eight. Probably just eight because uh, API eight is your API eight is your um, your two point two framework. API 7 is your 2.1. So after you finish downloading your API 8, it will probably tell you to, if you want to reboot your um, ADB server, just say yes and it will be on their way. So after you finish that, uh, you hit the virtual device, hit new, and then type the name of your, what you want to call your um, AVD, which is your Android virtual device as you see up here, target, um, put it to Android 2.2, and the size, just, it really doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be big because you aren't going to be putting much files in there at all. So you hit create AVD. Okay, now the next thing you want to do is, instead of starting it, starting your uh, AVD on the manager, you want to start it on, on a command prompt. So open another com command prompt, go to, uh, go back to your, uh, where, whatever your folder for your uh, SDK file is, Android tools. Now you'll want to type uh, emulator. If you, Remember if you're on the Mac, you have to type the dot slash and if you're on Windows, you just have you don't have to type that out. You can just type emulator. So emulator at the name of your AVD. So in this case, mine's called jcrew, and then dash partition dash size ninety six. Basically, what that does is uh, for you later on, it'll allow you to modify the system files, which will allow you to root the uh, emulator or install more uh, the marketplace so now since this actually does take a while we'll we'll move over to onto this side you'll need to download the emulator files or the marketplace files and the root and the stuff that require, uh, that you need to root your phone your emulator so you save the file so, 
here it is. Basically, what, what you need to do is just unzip it, and I suggest you to put it into your tools, because it'll be a lot easier for you later on. Because, actually, yeah. So as you see, it changed to the Android logo. Basically, it's just loading. Uh, and you want to just give it a little time. So since here I this this is doing something else, I'm gonna have to open another command prompt or emulate or terminal and go back to the same folder. Now there are a few uh files which which gets useful. Um there is the ADB which is uh, the Android debugger bridge very useful for even if you just use a phone the an Android phone it's just wonderful uh, it does a lot of stuff actually so now you see it loaded preparing SD files see um, you should get this uh, 3G icon up here if you don't just reboot your your emulator with the same way that I showed you before. Basically what this shows is you have a connection between your computer and your emulator which allows you to go online. So I'm just gonna drag these down if it works. Um, and here's the music, I don't want that either. Just drag it to delete it. So, if you open up the menu, or your drawer, you see a list of uh, applications it has that it starts with. But, you can see that it's missing the marketplace, which is basically where you download and install applications from, from, uh, the, from the Android or Google. So, what we need to do is, we want to install it. So, with your with your command prompt in your tools folder, type adb. Remember, if you're on the Windows, you don't need to type uh, dot slash. Just type adb. Um, pull system build dot prop. Basically, that just uh, copies the file from from your emulator to your computer. And if you just type it like that, it should end up in your tools folder so as you can see it's right here and just if it asks you what do you want to use it to open with um, use text editor if you're on the Mac or notepad if you're on Windows so just scroll down to uh, ro conf dot config dot no check just erase that line save it close it now we want to put it back into the uh, emulator, but since the system files right now is uh, read only, we want to remount it, so then it will be uh, read or write. Now, um, adb uh, push build dot prop slash system slash 